Right. So what would you now say to the next woman who's going, or the next man who's going into a relationship? Those red flags became very blatantly louder than ever eventually. Um, but yeah, how do you now overcome? What do you tell the next person when they go into a relationship and they see red flags? Do they address the, le- the red flags before they go in or should they just walk away once they see them? I mean, yeah, it really depends on what you are willing to accept and not accept as a person, what your boundaries are. My thing is if you see the red flags, they definitely need to be addressed. And if it's something that you're just like, I'm not going to deal with this, then I would just say walk away. We can't change people. I mean, people are who they are, especially as we get older. People are already set in their ways. At the end of the day, no one can change a person but God, and that person has to have a willing heart to want to change. So if you see red flags, definitely pay attention to them. There's this thing where, where people say, you know, people show you exactly who they are, like believe them, like believe them. Don't make excuses for people because, you know, oh, he like with my ex, he was such a supportive person. He was like my number one fan. And I had never had a man support me the way that he supported me in my dreams and my goals. And I feel like I put that on a pedestal. So anything else that he did, it's kind of like I looked I looked over it because uh, he was so supportive, you know, of my dreams and my goals. And um, so I looked past all of that. But now when I'm looking back, I'm like, clearly God told me he was a liar from the beginning. Um, this, the way the relationship he had with his father, with his mother, all, which is important to me. I had a great relationship with my parents. I grew up in a great household with an amazing father. I have amazing men in my family. So for me, that's a red flag. If I see you don't have a great relationship with your father, your mother, that's a total red flag where I probably would walk away (laughs) because that's not something that can be fixed easily. That's like, a lot of childhood trauma, a lot of stuff that have to be dealt with for that to be fit. So it just really depends on what the red flag is, what you're willing to tolerate. So for the man who doesn't have a very healthy relationship with his family, so Mm -hmm. mostly us seeing the red flags or is it us working on ourselves first to make sure we're whole enough to go into a relationship? Yes. That's my question. What what would you tell the audience? What would you think is more important? Is it is it us working on ourselves first, or is it checking out what's good, what's in front of us? Oh, it's definitely working on yourself first. That's the most important thing. Um, you can't expect someone to give you what you can't give yourself, and oftentimes, a lot of people are searching for things in relationships that. You don't even have that. You aren't even that. Um, I know that going forward, like right now, I'm not dating at all because I know the type of man that I do desire. I am nowhere ready to be with that type of man. Um, And I think that a lot of times, you know, people say, oh, I want, for example, I want a man that works out. I want a man that's fit. But then you don't work out. You're not fit. You know, you want a man that's financially stable, but you're not financially stable. I'm really big on getting yourself together, um, making sure that you're right. And at least that you are what you are asking for, what you're looking for. So I definitely think getting yourself together is more important than pursuing a relationship because both of you will be better off for it. If you have your stuff together, that person has their stuff together, then you can come together and build something great. But if you're broken, still don't have it figured out, still trying to see what you want to be when you grow up <laughs> and you get into a relationship, um, you're going to bring a lot of baggage. You're going to break that person, man or woman. We seem to sit down with a bunch of ladies and I was kind of um, talking to them about their expectations. And I sort of read a list of all the things they want from this great guy that they would like to be with. And they wrote very lovely things. Mm-hmm. And I turned around and said to them, See everything on that list? You be that first. Yes. Yes. Be everything on that list first. And once you're that, that guy can spot you out. And until then, yes. you're just going to be agree. a problem. Yeah. 